Okay. Hello. This seems to be making more sense than what I was trying to do for my computer. So if you guys saw that, um, <laughs> laugh with me. Um, and it's okay. So hi. Hi everyone, anyone that shows up today. I am Melissa Lewis. You are here on my Facebook page. Um, visiting with me, uh, my, my Facebook page you can see is Life Redone by Melissa. Um, those of you who know me in, in Torrington and Winstead area, uh, you in, may remember me um, as Always Remember Me Bears. Um, I used to have a studio at Whiting Mills where I made memory bears and repurposed things. Um, and uh, yeah, I would just take old stuff and try and make it into something new again. So um, changed things up a little bit after I left the mill a little more than a year ago. And I'm just trying to um, do something different because why not? We can, we can all just, you know, try things and, and not be stuck and, and, it's okay, life can branch out and that's okay. So today I thought I'd just hop on and learn about having um, a live sale. Um, I have some things here, I have about 25 things that I found thrifting that I um, want to move on and rehome to you. So uh, what I need you to do is maybe if you get a chance to shoot me a message, if you see something that you like um, with your name I'm going to need your address and email address so that I can invoice you or we can talk about are we going to do a local pickup together or just how are we going to, to make things happen. Um, I accept PayPal. I can run a credit card. I can send you a Venmo request. Um, and of course, if we meet up, we can do cash. So try and make this simple for all of us. Uh, I will set up a replay just because I know this is my first time and new and we may not have a lot of people stop in today. So that's fine. If you see something that maybe you'd like that I didn't get a chance to, that you didn't get a chance to purchase during the live event, please go ahead and um, send me a message. Um, you can message me uh, through my my Life Redone by Melissa on Facebook. Um, my email address is thepoorlife, T-H-E-P-O-U-R-L-I-F-E, -E, at yahoo.com. Also, you'll catch me with the goodie bag uh, next Friday, are we already? Um, no, two Fridays, May 14th at 8 o'clock with... Um, um, Alyssa at the goodie bag. Um, we just got talking about reselling and thought we'd give this a try. And boy, I'm really glad I came on today and just tried to do a live by myself um, because that would have been even more crazy. And so I, I hope if we can make, a, we'll pick a day in the week and try and, and just do a few things and hang out together and and see if I can find you some treasures that you may enjoy. So I have my tea. The dogs are here. They may bark because, you know, there's intruders in the neighborhood. So you may hear them. <laughs> and, um, you know, we're just going to go with it. And, you know, we'll see what happens here. So let's get into our first little things. And um, let's see what we have. So I thought these were really cute. I found these two hanging hearts. They're identical. They're ceramic. It looks like they're hand painted. Now I, they didn't have their little hangers when I picked them up and it was real easy to do. I mean, you could take off the little bows I put on. Um, if you wanted to put on ribbon, see there's a little hole here in the back and one on top. Um, they're easy to change out. They are about, let's, let's measure together. They're about three inches high by uh, four inches wide. So three by four, like I said, they're ceramic. I think they're a hobbyist. hobbyist. I don't think they're made by anybody. Um, 
special. And the blue and red with green leaves, they're really cute. So if you think this is something that you'd like, type in the comments, hanging hearts. And the hanging hearts are $8. I don't know, you probably can't see because I didn't flip this around to make sure that you could see my writing. Because it's different than the last time I did a live. A couple years ago, I, I, did, I started a keto group um, just with some people that, and that was a learning curve. But now, of course, technology has to change. But anyway, we're going to figure this out because that's what we do. So Hanging Hearts, $8. $8. Okay. And we can ship. Ship is not a problem. I'll just invoice you what the shipping will actually be. They're like, they'll probably go out first class um, if we need to send something from far away. So our next item, these, these were just cute. And, and I don't know, I just love little things, little, little tiny little treasure things. Um, so I picked these up. It's a set of two. There were probably more stackable little personal ashtrays. Let's see. Let's see, the cigarette would probably go here. Now you can use them as little dresser dishes and, and just set them, you know, put your earrings in. Now the green one, it, it does have what looks like maybe a little chip. I don't, but you can't, I mean, unless you're really eyeing it, you can't really see it. Um, and like I said, they're stackable and they're just so darn cute. So we have a yellow, it's like an amber yellow and, um, a nice green. It doesn't glow. It's not uranium. They're not quite that old. So the set of two personal ashtrays for $5 and just type in, in the description, um, personal ashtrays and we'll get them to you. I love them. They're so cute. Personal ashtrays. So if if you come in and you see that there's something, um, you think you have friends, please invite them to my page. If you think that what I'm sharing is something that someone else might like, please, please. The more the merrier. Bring your cup of coffee and let's sit down and just enjoy each other, right? Okay. Let's see what's next. No, oh, this is cute. I found this little piggy bank. It's a souvenir piece from Paris. It's just so cute. It's just little. It's it's ceramic or porcelain. It has a little stopper, little rubber stopper here. Oh, you couldn't get coin out of here. It's not that big. Um, I guess you could try, but you're not getting a quarter out of that tiny little hole. Um, so I think it's just more to sit on your, to sit on your dresser and enjoy. He has red hearts and then just a, a little Eiffel Tower on the side. His cute red eyes and he has this really long nose, but that's okay. Like I said, he's a coin bank. Um, he's not very big. He stands about well, I'd say just a smidge more than three inches high and is about four inches, four inches wide, three inches high. We really love him. The Paris Coin Bank, $10. So just mark in Paris Coin Bank in the comments. If you'd like that to come to your house, we can get him to you. Him or they. We're easy, it's fine. So let's see. She's sweet. So wait, I found this clay angel. Look at that expression. She's glittery and she's just happy and she's singing. Little halo, she's intact, she doesn't seem to have any chips or cracks or flaws that I could find. Now she is signed. Um, 
it looks like it's 1988 Gloria Mayer. So I think this is a crafter hobbyist piece, maybe something somebody picked up at a craft show. Um, she's cute. Now, I mean, when she, she was painting her, she did get a little carried away. There's some glitter kind of up on her cheek, but you wouldn't even notice. And I believe that this is meant to sit on a shelf. There's no hanger. There's no um, place to like hang it from a tree like an ornament. So I don't even think that this has to be a holiday or Christmas kind of decor. If you like angels, you can set it on yourself and she can just watch over you because she's just as sweet as she can be. Now there is a little white smooch. I think it's just where paint maybe didn't get, I don't know, on her face, cheek, but you, you, it's so minimal you can't see it there see when you really look for it now you can see it so there she is um uh, there there we go she is let's measure her she's little she stands she's about maybe three and a half inches tall and about six inches wide so six inches by three and she's really sweet and clay angel she's 18 all right, Clay Angel. And she, I don't think she would ship for much either. I think she's way under, oh yeah, she'll, she'll go out first class. She's way under a pound. So if you're not local and would like for her to come home with you, type Clay Angel in the comments and we'll figure out getting her to you. Clay Angel. Hi, Angel. Hi, who's ever there? I see I have somebody joining me. Say hello. Let me know who you are. This is my first time. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> okay, but that's okay. Somebody else will jump on. Uh, let's see. Let's do these. I know that there's bell collectors out there. My mom is one of them, so far with that. If you jump on and see this, if you'd like them, I'll bring them to you. I am gonna come see you again soon. So, I have a set of three crystal bells. Um, I have this one, very cute, clear glass. I mean, it's thin, delicate glass. I think it probably had something on the top of it. There's like a, like a, a little bit of adhesive or something. It's flat, it's smooth. There may have been something there. I don't know if you, if you're a crafter and repurposed and had something that you would like to add to the top that would be easy to do with this one. But it's cute, it has these little gems on the side. And there's no chips or cracks in this one, just whatever was here is it now. And I have this cute, crystal cut glass, or it's probably pressed, it's not cut, um, crystal bell. And uh, let's see, it's like a peach luster um, glass here at the, at the edges. And it's fused, it's, it's not actual um, yellow glass, it's, it's flashed. It's flashed yellow peachish color. And it has cute little stars pressed into it. A little knobby handle. This one, this one's, oh, what, about four and a half inches tall, about two inches wide, and the other one is, is about three inches tall and two inches wide. And this one, this one is beautiful. Have cut to clear cranberry glass birds little crystal bell round knob um it looks like it's handcrafted in canada and i believe that this oh no it's um flashed cranberry red it's not actual red glass um but the flashing's in good condition there are a couple tiny tiny you probably aren't even going to be able to see them here um, hello, whoever just came in. Um, welcome to my first live. Glad to have you. Um, you can't even see the tiny little, tiny, tiny little marks in the flashing. Isn't that sweet? So you get all three. Oh, here, let me tell you how big this one is. Uh, 
So this one's about four and a half inches tall and maybe about two inches wide. So here, cute little bells for the, you bell collectors. Three of, all three of them. All three bells, $18. And, and these will probably ship first class if you're not local. Yep, yep, they'll ship, they'll ship under one pound. So that'll be easy. So if this is something that you like, just type bells in the comment and we'll see that we get them to you. All right, hello, hello, hello. Let's see what else we have. So these are so cute. I, I recently just sold a picture that went with these and then I came across the same design so these are little spice jars. I have a set of four. I mean, they're all the same design. These are probably, probably 1980s. I don't know if you can see the little house. I believe they're made by uh, International Harvest. Um, it's the same design that I had on, on the picture that I just sold. Um, they're like a creamy color with pinks and blues in the designs. And they're all the same. I mean, the, the stoppers, I mean, they're, the stoppers aren't in the greatest shape. Some of them don't have them anymore. Not sure if you could find some kind of rubber um, to put around. I mean, they're, they're getting older like all of us, right? <laughs> So it's okay, um, but there there are no chips and cracks. They're in very good shape. Um, maybe a little stain here or there. Um, I, I, I have gone through and cleaned them up, but you know, sometimes things that have sat for a while have some smudges that have to pay attention to a couple of times. So that you get the set of four, and they're about just under four inches tall and about two and a half inches across so four inches by about two and you get all four of them there's there's four four in this lot they all have the same picture with the little pig and the little birds and the butterflies in front of the house it's all the same it's all the same design Let's see, if we were to ship these, since there's so many, they would have to go out priority. It would be about two pounds of shipping. So from Connecticut to wherever in the world you are, um, they'll go at it at, at the two pound rate. Yeah, yeah, once they're all packed up, probably be about that. So the spice jars, 15. Just mark spice jars down in the comments. And we will see about getting the spice jars to you. Okay. Let's see what else. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. Have a tea. We'll enjoy. Right. Oh, this is so cute. This is very cute. So I, I don't know. I saw this sitting on the shelf and I'm like, that's just adorable. That's just stinking adorable. So I have this party light. Let's see if you can see, made by party light. It's a little sheep. It's decorated with, I don't know, a tree maybe. This cute little sheepy butt underneath. Put a little tea light here. But I think, I think, hi Bethany, welcome, thanks for coming. I think not only if you didn't want to use this for a tea light, I would put an air plant in here, I'm not gonna lie. I have some coming. So on next Saturday, next Saturday, where am I? Yeah, Saturday, May 8th, I'll be in the Winstead Green um, for the Mother's Day um, event that they're having there. So this this may be there if it doesn't find a home today. Um, it may be there with 
an air plan in it. So we'll see. So an air plan holder, a teak light holder, um, I don't know, party light, little sheepies. I don't know if you can see him. He's getting some shadows here. Eh. He's nice tan, not too big. He's about uh, three and a quarter, maybe four, yeah, three and a half inches tall at his head and uh, about five inches, five inches to tail, tip to nose. So he's really cute. So if you like the sheep tea light holder, my hair. <laughs> $10. And just mark that in the comments. He would go out if we needed to ship. He would go out first class too. So $10. For the little sheepy. Oh, this is cute too. So this is my own handmade baby quilt. Um, It's just simple squares, red and greens. It has a check, pinks and red, green um, background. I mean, it's not really big. I mean, this could be for, you know, just a quick play area. Um, let me measure real quick. It's 34, I think 34, it's been a while. And this could go in the washer and the dryer. Uh, 34 by about 30. It's not overly heavy, but great for a brand new baby. You can just easily go over them in the car seat in the winter. Um, but it's warm. I mean, um, I'm pretty, I believe that this was probably polyester batting. Just by the feel of it, I don't think it feels like my cotton batting that I use. So that's it, my the pink and red and green baby quilt, 34 by 30. And that's 15. And you can just mark baby quilt in, in the comments. This will go out if we need to ship in a poly bag. I think it's probably gonna come in under first class too, it'll be. Yeah, it's gonna come in. Oh, yeah. It'll ship first class in a poly bag, so it won't be much to ship if you're not close. If you're not close by, so if that's something you'd like, just let me know. Baby quilt in the comments. Let's do one of these little doohickeys. I love this. I have always been. A, I just love to touch things, touch things that I think are beautiful and I mean I know as a kid I probably got myself in trouble more times than not just because I was curious and I had to touch it and see it uh, and when I saw this I want I got this at an auction when I saw it I'm like that is just adorable and I'm gonna have to sit and touch it and look at it so this is a vintage looks like mother of pearl maybe it's Bakelite a uh, handled pocket knife it just has this one blade and when it's open it, it's not real big it's just tiny it's it's about four inches long it's just a tiny little tiny little treasure here it has what looks like maybe a, a beach scene with a palm tree the sand I, I think that the pink and red over here I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It looks like it's something. There we go. The dogs. I warned you. Intruders in the neighborhood. <laughs> so it's in pretty good shape. I mean, it, I don't know how sharp it is. If if it's it's definitely been used. I mean, it's it's not new. I mean, it's been around a while. It's seen some things. Um, oh, there is a tiny little marking in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to see it who it's made by, it is marked. You know, if, if you wanna know, I'll, I'll look closer and I can answer any questions if you wanna message me after. Um, and this will definitely ship first class if we need to ship it out to you. It's light, it's tiny, it's adorable. And if you want it to be yours, the little pocket knife is 18. 
and just put that in the comments below. I love it. I love it. I hope it finds a home where somebody else is gonna love it too. Because it's adorable. And along with other adorable little treasures. Because who doesn't love a tiny little treasure, right? Who doesn't love a tiny little treasure? I have this very teensy tiny pocket watch. It's on a chain necklace. Now, I don't think it's too old because I'm it's battery operated. See if we can make it so you can see the inside. There she is. Uh, I, th it I think it needs its battery changed out. I had the, I have had the back off just to see if I could figure out what was inside. I can't tell who made it. Um, I don't think that it's. I think it's probably stainless steel. It's, I don't believe it's any kind of precious metal. Um, I didn't see any particular markings other than it's just, it's just cute. I don't know if you can see the, the carved detail there. And it's little, it's about the size of a quarter maybe. As far as the face itself is one inch, one inch. And the chain, the chain is about 18 inches long. So, I mean, it, it's just slipped through there. So that could come off easily if you didn't like it. All right. So the little pocket watch necklace, which is adorable, can be yours if you're interested for $18. $18, just make a comment and let me know. And of course, this is tiny too. It would go out first class, cast, first class, easy peasy. So that's that. Sip of tea. We'll keep going. Right. We will keep going. All right. Okay, this is cute. I saw this sitting on the shelf and I couldn't leave it because it was just too cute. I couldn't leave it behind because it was so cute. Look at that face. How do you leave this sitting on the shelf? So this is an enamel dog bowl. I think it has a little bit of age to it, but I think it's, it's dog <laughs> flipping it around. Um, I think it has a little bit of age, but I think that some of these dings may be more to make it look older than what it really is. I don't think that this is, you know, um, I don't think it's as old as what it appears. I just think it's adorable. And that I'm sure of. I am sure that it is 100% adorable. It's a creamy, almost very light, light yellow. Um, there is some rust on the underneath of it, but just considering the material, that doesn't surprise me at all. You know, I, I don't think it was made at a time where they put the, the rubber around, you know, the outside to protect it. There are no marks on it to say who made it. I just know that it's adorable. Just know it's adorable. And my, my dogs have so many little treasures that they don't need to keep this because they eat out of China. I don't know. <laughs> because I had it. Anyway, anyway, if you love the little doggy bowl, and it's not really little, it's it would be better for a large dog. It's The bowl itself is about eight inches. And then like for the total size of it, it's what, it's about 10 inches on the bottom. And, and the, as far as depth, I mean, it's, it's like a three inch, three, 
two, two and three quarters inches deep, so it would hold a lot. I, I think if you had a bigger dog that you wanted to to share it with other than this cute little puppy, um, yeah, it would be good for that size, a big dog. It's not, not for a little dog. So anyway, the enamel dog bowl, 20, $20. And this one would ship, this would probably go out priority. Yeah, it would go out at the two pound rate. Yeah, it would go out at the two pound rate. So let's see, let's see what else we have. All right, so this is another one of my own, um, excuse my nose, it, here in New England and Connecticut, um, spring is just starting, even though it still thinks it's winter, but the trees are trying to do what trees do now and makes everything dry. So this is from my craft fair, my quilting, my craft fair stash. And this will probably come with me if it doesn't find a home today, uh, next week to the Mother's Day market. It's a cute, small, um, little purse. Blue with stars. We have some rainbow stars. It has a button closure. And this is machine washable too. It can go in the washer, the dryer. Oh, look inside, a nice little surprise. It has a pocket inside. So it's just a little like, you know, can carry on your arm. Yeah. Let me see, can we get it? Yeah, be great for an, a little girl. Let's see how big this one is. I don't remember anymore. Not too big, it's, it's a nice sweet little size. So it's about 12 inches across and it would stand probably about 10 inches tall and it opens up. I mean, it can hold a lot of stuff, it has a base on it about four inches. So a sweet bag. And at the craft sale I have on there at the craft show price is 20. But today you can get the small quilted bag for 12. Small bag, 12. And this I would go out first class too if we needed to ship it to you, no problem. Easy peasy. Small bag. $12. Just write 12, small bag in the comments below and we'll figure out getting it to you. Alright. Small bag. Let's see, who else do we have here? Well, let's do another bag. Here's another one of my own quilted bags. It's cute. Now this is kind of a tall, narrower bag. It has a longer strap. It's gray and pinks, black or charcoal grays. Uh, the lining, the lining is pink, and it could be machine washable. I mean, it's not it's not giant. So if you just needed to run in and grab just a couple little things at the store, I mean, this is gonna hold it. Um, if you were going to the gym and just needed to put your water bottle in a towel, that would be perfect for this. Um, it's not gonna hold a lot, but it's cute. It's cute, it's very functional. It doesn't have pockets or anything like that. Uh, it's, what, about 11 inches wide and would stand uh, about 12 inches tall. And it, it opens up, it's, it's, again, probably about four inches, five inches wide. You can put your water bottle, towel, a couple little things for the gym. And this would ship first class too, it's light. Or we can do local pickup. Um, so if you are interested in the pink and gray quilted bag, just type below quilted bag and we will get this to you. We'll reach out $18 for this one. And I think I have probably Oh, I have, yeah, 20 on this. So if it doesn't find a home today, it'll probably go with me too. Um, hey, Sue, hi. This will probably go with me to the craft fair next week. Let's see what other treasures we have. A sip of tea, cheers. Let's see. Okay. These are cute. Now 
I know. I know that there aren't a lot of smokers out there. This is history. This is this is something that when I was growing up would be in a lot of mother's houses. So I saw this last year when I was just starting to get into reselling and I just thought it was gorgeous. I love the detail on these and um, it's just beautiful. Now it's, it's Jasperware. Now this is a cigarette holder and it has an ashtray to go with this. So sitting on your coffee table when your friends are over, you're like, oh, here, you want a cigarette? <laughs> you share your smokes with your friends, right? And like I said, this is, I believe, Jasperware. Jasperware was made by more than just Wedgwood. This is not a Wedgwood piece. Here it has some cherubs on the top on the lid. Isn't that pretty? It's not a perfect piece. I see that there are some flaws in the way they're made. it's made, which of course is another indicator that it's not Wedgwood. It could even be a hobbyist piece. I'm not totally sure. It looks like it says Joe there. But still, nonetheless, it's really cute. There's the goddess, the cherub on that. And here's the same little cherub on the ashtray playing a little violin, sitting in the garden, just loving life. And the ashtray isn't signed either, but it's still darn cute nonetheless. So this can sit on your coffee table. Let me see if you needed shipping for this. It would go out probably just around, um, it's gonna be close because this would need protected with bubble wrap and everything. So I'm, I think I could get it under one pound, fingers crossed. Um, if not, it, it could just be a little smidge more. Um, so the Jasperware cigarette set, smoking set, 25. Just type in cigarettes and the comments below and we'll work on getting that to you. Let's see what else. In theme of Jasperware, I have this light blue dinner bell. It's really cute. More, um, oh, it's a goddess. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's an interesting little scene there. I don't know how to describe it. But more Jasperware. It's light blue. It, it needs a little a little scrub it's a bisque finish and boy that catches everything over the years I mean it's not antique but it's not new either this isn't signed either this is not Wedgwood again this could be made by somebody else but it's definitely in the Jasper Ware style and this Jasper Ware bell can be yours for 12 12 dollars it would ship first class it's not I mean, it's a bigger item. It's about six inches by four. Jasperware. Cute for your collection. So type in Jasperware Bell if that's something you're interested in. Let's see what else. Oh, this is cute. Let's do this so it doesn't fall. Because... That's just how things go. Things fall. Things fall around me. They break. That's my life. Oh, <laughs> just go with it. It's okay. So I saw this and it couldn't stay. It's a tin serving tray with like folk art inspired transfers. It's not hand painted. It does have some dings from use, but I think those dings and those scratches just kind of give it some character and give it some love, and I, I like it. The part that I really love the best is that you can tell that this has some age to it by, where is it, the Kmart sticker for 68 cents. So I'm thinking this probably goes back to the 70s. 
as a matter of fact, there is a, a stamp on it that it's made by um, the Ohio Art Company in Bryan, Ohio, USA, 43506. That's probably the zip code. Um, so you can see that, you know, we're not making much in this country. So clearly, clearly this goes back to at least the 70s, I think. It's kind of got a scalloped edge to it. There's no real rust, just, just some dings. And this will be an easy ship or two within a pound. Or we can do local pickup. So if you love this and want it to come to your home, just mark tin tray in the comments for $22. And we will get that to you. Tin tray, $22. I love it. I love the colors on it. The graphics are adorable. If you missed this and it doesn't find a home, this will probably be at my uh, antique booth is where this is probably going to end up at Collinsville Antiques in New Hartford on Route 44 for those of you local that get to watch the replay. So if you miss it, that's where you'll be able to find it. Uh, all right, let's do this. So we found this cute stained glass flower blues and whites with a blue glass center. It has its hook to hang a chain, but I didn't have anything to replace it with. So you can do that. You can use fishing line or whatever um, to hang it from your window. It's really cute. And it's not real big. It's five inches tall by about maybe four across. So from here to here, five and four. Really adorable. It's well made. Very well made. And stained glass flower, $6. If you'd like it to come to your home, we can certainly get it to you. Sylvester and Tweety poster. I, I just, the colors on this, when I saw this in the store, I just like, wait, stop. Like who, it just took me back. Now the poster has a couple ding, it looks like it has a little ding here and a little watermark. It's, there's, um, time, uh, it's stamped. Uh, 2001 and it's numbered 2340 out of 8460 it's made by Bacardi art and of course it's the Looney Tunes characters so Sylvester and Tweety now the frame itself isn't it you see it has a little ding here um, and and we don't have to keep it in the frame to sh if you're going to ship it um, I can take it out and put it in a tube and get it to you. Um, that's not a problem. We can get rid of the frame. It measures, it's not huge. It's not huge at all. Uh, 16 by 12. Sylvester Tweety. I mean, this would still be cute in the kids' room. I mean, they are, Sylvester and Tweety are timeless. I mean... You can't go wrong with those two. Frame Sylvester and Tweety, $20. This next item, I love the colors. I love the colors when I saw this. Um, and I love, I love art pottery. I mean, things that people take a moment to sit down and try and make for you to enjoy out of their brains and their their minds and their heart, um, I enjoy. And I like seeing them in the thrift stores because I want to give them new life to somebody else that might be able to enjoy them. So this is 
This is an art pottery goblet. Um, just from looking them up, I feel like maybe you find this at a Renaissance fair. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's in good shape. There is a little crazing to the glaze, um, but there are no chips or cracks on this. Um, it is signed. I was not able to find who the maker was, but with art pottery, that's not anything unusual. They are hard to come by. Um, this is uh, six and a half inches tall and four inches wide. I mean, the cup itself is probably three inches tall. You can do, use this to put a plant into. Like, I don't know, I thought of maybe even putting an African violet in this. That would be a great size for that. Um, so if you didn't want to use it for drinking our food, um, that's an option. You can put a plant in anything, a succulent, right? So. There you go. This would ship probably at the two pound rate. Yep, just a little over a pound. So once it's protected and everything. Still not a problem, I ship every day. So the Art Pottery Goblet can be yours for $18. Leave me a comment below. And we'll look back after the replay and see what we can get to you. Now, if you like what you're seeing, tell me. Or if you're like, just never do this again, tell me. Um, we can we can do that. I can find plenty to keep my day full. Um, but, you know, if there's a better day of the week that you want to sit down and, and I can just go over some things that I can pick out that I have here looking for new homes, um, let me know. Leave me the comment. Um, you know, share. Share with your friends. The more that come the better we are that we can find to, uh, you know, um, spend some time with and make this even more fun for everybody. Let's see. Let's, let's do these guys. Just a couple more things. Just a couple more things to go. I thought these were cute and just perfect for a sale. They, I have a set, a pair of these really adorable teapot candle holders. They're pink, pinks and greens. I feel like they're made in Italy, but they're not signed. It's very, um, the design is very much Italy, Portugal maybe, um, that type of, that type of thing. Um, but they're ceramic. They're not really heavy. They'll take a, um, a tall um, candle. Maybe it'd be nice for your table. Most seasons, really. Fall, summer. The two of them together. Oh, they would still come in to, oh, under a pound to ship to, if they needed shipping. So they would go first class. They're really cute. So for the pair, of teapot candle holders. A pair of teapot candle holders. $12. Comment below. Teapot candle holders. For you. For you. Cheers. Keep myself caffeinated. I still have more, more to do today. Well, let's do some much with. All right, so I showed you the not Wedgwood Jasper wear, but I have a real piece of Wedgwood. I have this cute trinket dish. I feel like that might be a zodiac sign. It's, it's somebody with a chariot. It looks like two horses maybe. I don't know. I haven't really learned the designs of, of the Wedgwood Jasper wear pieces, but it's a cute, uh, Tiny little ring dish, trinket box. You can put candy in it, um, whatever you want. It's in very good shape. No chips or cracks. I got it cleaned up pretty well. Jasperware can be tough to clean. So if it starts to get gunky, I just take some Dawn on a, on a little toothbrush, like for little kids, toddler size. Scrub it up. 
and it takes out all the little scuffs and the gunks and the or if you get scrapes on it you can even use a little toothpaste too I wouldn't put this kind of stuff in the dishwasher I've heard of people doing that um, don't recommend that it has I have its box as well and it's it's tiny it's I mean it's not too big it's about four inches and stands just under two inches tall so the Wedgwood you it is stamped you just it's very hard to see it's not stamped well um, for the Wedgwood trinket dish white and blue $22 Wedgwood made in England. I like Wedgwood. I mean, when you, there's definitely a, a different feel when you're touching the Wedgwood versus the, the Jasper Ware pieces that I held up earlier. Definitely, definitely a different quality. This is really cute. I love this. I love old things. I love to see the dings and the, I don't know, it's just history. So I have, I have this cute picnic basket, two handles, and it's in pretty good shape. I don't think any of the canes were broken on it. You could fit a, nice, a pie in there very easily. And it has actually a tray in. You know, this is the way that the lady kept it, so who am I to change things around? So that you could maybe put two pies in when you're going to your picnic. And there's some of these blocks in here too that I think she probably set under. There was foil. Who am I to change the things? Oh, I'm seeing a couple little cracks here in the bottom, but that's okay. I mean, it's still, it's still, it looks like the edges of the reeds of the canes where they kind of came together. Still adorable. Still adorable. Now, of course, you don't need to put your own pies to take it. You can just use it as a display piece um, in your home decor and use it. I don't know. You can put your yarn and so on in it. I love it. This would probably ship priority mail just till everything's said and done. Um, in the size of the box. I think it would ship priority. Um, like I said, it's big enough for pie. So it's, it's 14 or 13 inches by uh, 13 and it stands about six and a half, seven inches tall. It has this cute little flippy clasp here. So it doesn't pop open. Look at that. I mean, it definitely has some age to it. 50s, 60s, maybe. I don't know. Maybe even a little older. It's not signed. It's not dated. I do not know. I do know that it's adorable. And if you love it, like I do, Vintage Basket, $20. Just comment below and we'll figure out getting it to you. And the last piece. We made it. We made it to the last piece. I just wanted to keep it short for our first try, but we made it to the end. I got a very adorable flower vase. Now, I put my little hydrangeas that I've made um, in so that you can see it comes with its own flower frog. Let me take them out of here. Flower frog. It's a little gunky, I need to wipe it out. I just grabbed it just before we were ready to start the live. It's not signed, but it's this pretty, pretty green, soft pastel seafoam green. There is some crazing to the frog, but um, overall, oh, there's some crazing at the top of the glaze too, around the rim. Ah, on the side too. So it, ha it definitely has some age to it. Like I said, it's not signed. Not 100% sure who made it, but I'm a green girl. I love greens. I don't know how I don't have more green decor in my house, but it's just the way I, oh, I saved it. This would definitely ship um, priority mail. It's a, it's a little heavier. I mean, it's a real solid piece. It's not a cheap 
piece of, of, of pottery. It's ceramic porcelain. You know, it's, it stands, oh, where are we at? It's six, six by six, really. You know, and, and you, you use, you use these holes to put your flowers in to keep them where you want them to go. So great for this time of year, flowers are coming. Beautiful vintage flower vase with flower frog. And that would be 35. 35 plus shipping. And that's it. We made it. We made it. Oh, Daisy has to go chase somebody away outside. So thank you for coming. Thank you for being patient in the beginning while I was trying to figure out how in the world to make this happen. If you saw something that you like, um, please give me a comment. Invite your friends to come and join us. Uh, let's pick a day of the week. If there's a better day that would work for you, uh, I, I, I'm flexible. I can work that into my day. I just want to get the things that I think are cool out to everybody and, and have them come to you. So, um, like, share, subscribe. This is probably going to go over to um, YouTube as well. Um, you can shoot me a, a, a message if there was something that you wanted. Um, and and thank you thank you for coming and popping in and sitting with me for my first live event um and we'll work on trying to bring more of these to you so have a great friday be well be safe and most importantly be kind take care bye bye